the film came about because after Carla's song, we we talked about doing a, a film that was very rooted in in this city and in this landscape, and um, so it it was to find a set of relationships that would reveal what's happening to people here, um, because um, although there's great spirit, I mean we're we're tearing each other apart in certain areas like Glasgow, like other cities. Um, I mean, the area we've been in today has the highest percentage of intravenous drug users in Europe. And there's a great tragedy going on inside these rooms. Who was the English guy? Oh, God, there's a couple of them. I believe you sent me off. What? What's that? I'm the penalty taker you sent me off. I know, I know. How come Davy never took it? How come Liam? He knocked it back. Well, essentially, it's a kind of a love story, I suppose, between Joe, um, who's in his early 40s. He's had a chaotic existence. And now, in sobriety, he's really having to build a life for himself and he's trying to just make sense of his life. And it's a relationship with Sarah, who's a health visitor. So it's very much, you know, it's a love story and as simple and as complex as love stories are. And uh, it's set against the backdrop of modern day Glasgow. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, 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 sorry. Get him fucking sorted. He knows the shit. Aye, aye. If we have a character who's, you know, playing an alcoholic, you know, we want to be, or it was attending AA meetings, we want to make sure that, you know, we respect the traditions of AA and, you know, we're not telling lies about them or exaggerating or being melodramatic. You know, I mean, I went to lots of AA meetings and spoke to lots of people who were involved in that spoke to lots of kids who were involved in drugs, I went out with hell visitors. So what you're trying to do is just make the story tighter and tighter, you know? And um, that, that process still continues a little bit on the film. All I know is he's a recovering alcoholic, that he runs a football team, and that's it. Because they don't tell me anymore. Ken doesn't. You get the script. You know, I've not seen the full script. And I'm given the script little pieces at a time. Tiny little bits. And, and everybody's told not to tell you anything. <laughs> He's the ultimate actor's director because he always makes you feel really at ease. Um, you don't have to stick, obviously, by the script. You get to play around with it. But he gives you the map. He gives you the... You know, you find your own way there. But he tells you where the territory lies. And you just, you know, he gives you a wee compass. Off you go. It's a question of trying to bring them to the position they would be if it were happening in real life and then guiding them through the scene as best you can, but relying on their own instincts as far as possible, their instinct in relationship to the script. And um, it's... Um, I, I, it's, I mean, it's, it's very much a matter of intuition, you know, and, and what you think will work. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's just, just, you, you know, you're... The feeling you wear a bit, yeah, you know. But it's it's really nice. I mean, you're really enjoying it, and yes. it's, it's working well. Yeah. No, no, there is a word for that. Mm. It's, um, <laughs> there is. It, fish. Yeah, that's the it brings a freshness to the acting, definitely. I always find if you get the script um, and you've got it at home and you're going through it and through it and through it and through it. Um, you can sometimes think, how am I going to do this character? But with this, it's I, I find it very easy, and I find it a lot more enjoyable than having this than being given the whole script, knowing what's going to happen, and um, it, it is exciting. Not me. The challenge for this is. Um, is to try to work through a mature relationship between two people 
um, what it will mean for them, what the loss of it will mean for them, what the possibilities are. Um, both people who are quite damaged in a way. So, I mean, the heart of it is is that relationship, which is something that um, that I haven't tackled before. Okay, end of play for today. Thanks very much, oh, everybody. Thanks. Cheers, guys. <laughs> so, could you explain to us the meaning of the title, My Name is Joe? Mm -hmm. Well, the main character, Joe, um, and his past was a hell of a drinker, you know, he's probably had a rather chaotic life and he drank for 20 years. But when we actually join him in the film, he's actually attending AA, so he's, he's been sober for about 10 or 11 months. So he attends AA meetings, and the... Um, you know, one of the set phrases in, in A is, is to introduce yourself as my name is Joe and I'm an alcoholic or my name is Paul and I'm an alcoholic or my name is Isabel and you may be an alcoholic, I don't know. But um, it's, it really just it really comes from, the, from, from Alcoholics Anonymous meetings. Mm -hmm. And wh what can you tell us about the plot of the film? The plot of the film, uh, essentially it's a kind of a love story, I suppose, between Joe, um, who's in his early 40s, he's had a chaotic existence, and now in sobriety he's really having to build a life for himself and he's trying to just make sense of his life. And it's a relationship with Sarah, who's a health visitor. So it's very much, you know, it's a love story and as simple and as complex as love stories are. And uh, it's set against the backdrop of modern-day Glasgow. Um, Joe runs a little football team and so he's very much involved with them and particularly he's very close to a young guy called Liam and his girlfriend called Sabine who, um, whose lives are, are very, very difficult and very complex and really Sarah and Joe's relationship in many ways is um, connected with Joe's relationship with Liam and all the different twists and turns that that takes. Is it important for you that the film is set and written uh, from Glasgow? Well, I, I mean, I, it, well, it's it's. It's important in the sense that, you know, we've chosen Glasgow and uh, not that Glasgow is any more complex or any, or any less or more complex or difficult or less worthy than any other city. It just happens to be that it's written in Glasgow and, um, you know, I'm pleased about that. I'm from Glasgow, so I can obviously write Glasgow stories better than other stories, I suppose. You know, I've, I'm very familiar with this city. I, I love the city. I know people well here and, and I suppose it's, it's nice to write about things that you feel close to. But I don't think it's... Um, uh, no great premium being for or against Glasgow. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> what? Okay, what? rolling, rolling. Thanks. So it's it's. Uh, I was a bit surprised to see you as a scriptwriter on the set. Uh, could you explain how you work with Ken Lodge? Um, well, I, this is the second film I was on this on the set and. In, in Carla's song, and I was actually probably more useful in Carla's song. Just now, I mean, it's it's um, how do I work with Ken Lodge? Most of the work is actually done, really, as far as I'm concerned. You know, we work very, very carefully on the script. You know, it usually ends up I come up with an idea and I write to Ken and we talk about it and we have a good discussion to see if we're in the same terms of reference. But then there comes a point where there's no point talking anymore. You have to just write something and see if the characters live on the page. And then after, if we get past that hurdle, the next thing then is really to work on the narrative, really, make sure we've got a tight story. So the whole process is simply one of just reworking and asking questions and seeing things from different points of view and trying to make the story tighter and make it work better in terms of its narrative, in terms of its characters. And then we check that against, you know, the lives of people who, who, um, who live those lives, you know. I mean, I went to lots of AA meetings and spoke to lots of people who were involved in that spoke to lots of kids who were involved in drugs, I went out with hell visitors. So what you're trying to do is just make the story tighter and tighter, you know? And um, that, that process still continues a little bit on the film. You know, at night time we'll often discuss, discuss characters and, you know, look at possibilities. You know, but mostly now it's, um, I, I'm just too nosy and I don't want to leave the set. <laughs> I'm probably just getting under people's feet, uh, but um, in a way I'm just too nosy and too curious to see how it all unfolds really. And it's, and it's nice seeing real flesh and blood playing characters that are just in your mind, you know, so um, there's probably no good reason to be in set whatsoever. 